Work Time the Gas Show, and we're back with another video, guys. And today we're right here with my boy Tim and John, and we are picking up the 2024 F-150 that we dropped out the other day. Now they gave us a badass 3.5 drop on it. We didn't want to go too low just because we are putting some big wheels from JTX, and we are going to be putting a nice ice tire. And I don't want to have any rubbing issues with the wheels or the tires, and I don't also want it to be rubbing on the floor now houston has some uh, we can say it has some messed up streets but with this one right here guys since we gave it a nice three five drop I'm, i think that you can actually still drive it you know around town without any trouble without worrying about scraping here or rubbing there you know what i'm saying so we're here and uh the truck is ready literally they took this guys like two days to get this done Oh, they probably finished it in a day, but they wanted to drive it, make sure everything was, was good. Uh, the only thing that we do need to do is align it. And once we have time, guys, which uh, probably next week coming up, uh, we will be aligning it. Now, also, guys, before we get into this video, I just want to tell everybody that we got a surprise tomorrow. We're dropping a new giveaway, something that you guys really, really, really want, something that you guys been waiting for. That truck starts tomorrow, so stay tuned for that. Tomorrow, Monday, guys, we're going to be talking about the giveaway and all that good stuff. Now, the truck is not 100% complete. It still needs to add a little bit more stuff here and there, but we got a whole week because we're going to be running this motherfucker for a week to get it going. In. so stay tuned for that surprising you guys with the giveaway it is something that you guys been wanting for a long time and it's finally happening and it's happening tomorrow you see i pay attention to the fans bro of course we hear you guys out we read all the comments and everything yeah and it's a badass truck it's actually he doesn't want it he yeah. doesn't want it to go but <laughs> hey everything gotta go you know what i'm saying everything gotta go enough of that let's go talk about this simple thing my boy Tim once again it seems like I actually seen you yesterday <laughs> right so we're here now it took you it, this is this is a walk in the park this is just a drop right you guys do crazy builds here this is just the walk in the park now you took two days because you wanted to make sure everything was good uh you drove the truck how does it ride yeah. Better than factory. Better than factory. The shocks are gonna need a little bit of adjustment in the back. Okay. Like it's stiff. Okay. It says take it all the way clockwise and come back 12 clicks. And when they break in, you can still adjust it one or two feet away. Okay. So it's, it's a smooth ride right yeah, now. It's very smooth. How low did we end up going? We talked about going 3.5. 3.5. So 3.5 is the right height right now. And we shouldn't have any rubbing issues once we get the wheels, once we put the big tire. And the good thing is that th this truck is not too low to the ground. Right. So it will be no scraping or nothing like that, right? You got plenty of clearance from the valence to the exhaust. Everything has plenty of clearance. You got plenty of room from the wheels. Nothing hits. Okay. It's, and it just moves everything on the factory geometry. So you're not taking and binding a ball joint. You're not binding something all the way oh, up. It okay, moves okay, okay. and it rides real smooth. Ready to go. All right. Well, here it is, guys. The 2024 F-150 on the gas edition. It got color match and now it got drop. So check it out. As you can see now check this thing out this thing looks really really nice now it doesn't look that great just because we're still running the factory wheels and the factory tires but right now this fender flare now actually stands out it didn't stand out when the truck was stock height but now that the truck is lowered we can actually see this thing right here it actually pops and as you can see we got the fender flares they sticks out a little bit and you can see the original wheel is in so once we get the new wheels they're gonna fit right perfect they're gonna be flush now we still need to align the front but you can check this one out see with the fender flare this will probably be straight but with the fender flare now it's sticking out about a, maybe a half an inch or three quarters and uh once we put the rim the rim is going to be right here flush and i can't wait for those wheels to be done so my boy chris at jtx if you're watching this hurry up with the wheels bro because we're pretty much waiting on you now no no there's there's, there's more things that we got to do to the truck we still got to do the interior we're gonna put a badass sound system on this truck from our boys at the auto shop roberto in the valley so they're gonna be part of the build as well so yeah check it out it looks really nice we still have play in the bag to go lower right you still got Two inches? About two and a half, three inches between the bump stop. 
Okay, so oh, so the bump stop is it still comes there. With an aftermarket bump stop oh, that you okay, screw up okay, is okay. just that much smaller because the one had a big bracket on it. Yes. And this one screws directly to the frame. Oh, directly to the frame. Okay, so so it still has you know what I'm saying a little bit of play in the back, which is good. Now once we put the rims on, we'll bring it back over here and let our boys here uh, if we need to do any adjustments, which we shouldn't, right? Nah, I don't think so. I think it should be it's good. gonna be fine. Yeah. Now, should we go with 22s or should we go with 24s? I know everybody does 22s, but if you want to stand out, well, then we need to put 24s. So, what you guys prefer? If you guys want 22s, make sure to comment down below and let us know. If you want 24s, well, then that's a bigger wheel. But this truck is actually a bigger and more bulkier. So, I think a 24 will work better. What you think, Tim? What you, what you like better? I don't say 30s, because we're not doing 30s, bro. We're not <laughs> saying 30s or nothing like that. Just, we want to keep it practical. So, this trucks, if we were to get like an OBS or the old school Chevys or whatever, they're, 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 the body style is a little bit more smaller. These new trucks, the new Fords and the new Chevys, they're so bulky that when you put a 20 or a 22, you got a big wheel yeah, a, yeah, so it, and they look small, you know what I'm saying? Back then, if we were only to put 30s on the OBS, they don't even fit, you know what I'm saying? Not even on a cat eye. But now you put a 30 on the brand new 2020 Chevy and they look like 24s, you know what I'm saying? And say hi to the dog. <laughs> oh, he wants to play. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> hey, I wish I, I wish I had a dog like that, bro. Hmm. Yeah, plays with you? Yeah. The one I got, you don't listen. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Same, Tim. <laughs> no, 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 no. Oh, Tim, don't listen. <laughs> oh, the new trucks require the bigger wheel, so I think maybe a 24 wheel will fit really, really nice here. But then again, we can also go with the 22, which is get a bigger tire. So help us out, guys. Comment down below. 22, 24. My boy Tim, what you what you want? 24, 22. Depends on where you live and how bad the roads are. I mean, it's fucked up because it's Houston. So so choose wisely. I think 24 look good. 24. Yeah. What about you? 24. I'll go 24s too. 24. I actually want to see what it looks like with a drag pack too. A drag, we got the drag pack at the shop. Yeah. Oh, you know what? We might put just put yeah. that on right now. Just we, see what it looks yeah, like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We might just do that right now. We got some 17s all the way around. They're welds and they got, we got them at the shop and those are the wheels that I actually had bought for the Shelby, but the Shelby brake caliper was actually hitting. So on this one right here, it might look better. So we might just do that today. Uh, but the truck came out real nice. Give it a nice stance all the way around. Fender flares, like I said, they look really, really good. I like it. Now, my boy Tim, he said he already drove it. He already kind of tested it. You know, he kind of did a little alignment, but we still got to take it to the professionals and do all that laser stuff. And here, we got the original parts, and these are the original control arms, and these are the front struts. And then we got the rear original shocks, the hangers, and the U-bolts, I guess, with the... Oh, and this is, these are the bumps. That's the old bump stop. Oh, okay. The new one just screws like this with the bracket off the frame. And the new one's just a bump stop about that big. It okay. screws to the frame. Directly, directly. Cool, cool, cool. Also, Tim and John are going to hook us up with a badge for this truck. Now, we're going to start numbering these trucks up. And uh, since this was number one, they're going to surprise us with, uh, they got the, if you look behind us, they got all the, what, what, do, you, what do you call this, CNC machining or what? Yeah. And you guys do not just this, but you do uh, valve covers and what else? Emblems, valve covers, plaques. We went as far as making wedding gifts. Oh, Whatever, something that's personal, made out of billet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That you can't buy on the shelf, but you want to. In the truck industry, everybody wants something cool. Yeah, of course. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. You're getting married, your buddy don't want to buy you a plaque or buy you a picture or buy you something. So we they, make some really cool deals that they, are they epoxy filled, they're billet. Anything, we've done a lot of, we've even stuff for cancer will make the big ribbon and we'll fill it with pink purple oh, whatever color, or the yellow cool. whatever it is cool. i got a couple homeboys are gonna get married like tiny and machete here coming up and we, we might have to <laughs> 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 might have to hook them up with a little gift yeah, or something hook them up over here now if they want to buy something so you don't have anything pre-made if you want something custom, they can they can hit you up, right? Yes. And what is the what is the Instagram? Timmy well, John's Machine Bam. Okay, we'll put the, the link right here or the username right here. If you got something cool and something custom, you want to be you know when you want to stand out, make sure to hit up these guys and they can hook you up. Like I said, the valve covers I've seen them already. Those are pretty cool. But if you're looking to get something custom, CNC machine or whatever, I'm sure these guys can help you out. So uh, hit them up. Now, don't waste their time, right? <laughs> Make sure you're gonna buy something before you even hit them up. Yeah, they, these guys don't want to talk. They got a lot of work here. They gotta be, you know what I'm saying? You got, they gotta be productive. So if you got something cool and uh, you got the funds and you're ready to do it. Make sure to hit them up because it takes a little bit of time, right? It takes you, you got to put it in the system yeah. and make sure everything comes out good and stuff like that. So, yeah, talking about valve covers, I need some custom valve covers for a Coyote. I know a guy. I know a guy too. 
Well, I thought uh, you, I thought I knew y'all. <laughs> hey, uh, the Coyote, there's a guy. Where's JC at? Oh, you guys can't do it. We just don't have the. He's got it all in the computer set up and all that. He does that. It's a little bigger than our machine does. On oh, the okay. So you can do you can do the right. Chevy. Do the Chevrolets, yeah. the LS, and all that. But the Coyotes are such a big head and so wide. All right, cool, cool. Well, then I'll bring you some Chevy valve covers like Crawfish. The gang bang. Yeah. What else? All the race trucks. I mean. Yeah, all the mm -hmm. race trucks. Not even the race trucks. Just, just the, the regular trucks. trucks. Yeah. The cool part about that too is that if you want a different AN fitting in the back, so you want more relief, so you don't have so much blow by stuff, oh. we can put a different AN in the back. So it's not limited to what. Say your tuner wants. Say whoever's tuning right yeah. now for you, they want something bigger. They want some added extra port or something. We yeah. can do that. We can add that in the design, change it up for you. Okay. Okay. Especially for your on the gas. Of course, these guys can do it all right now. So right now we're gonna load up this thing on the trailer. Big shout out to my boy Tim and John. We're gonna keep bringing more business over here. We gotta now. We're gonna throw this away. or We're gonna take it. That's up to you. Guys. I kind of want to take it, bro. Or we can throw it away. It's brand new. Yeah, it is brand new. I've had a, yeah. I'm gonna talk to. It. Yeah, it has 40 miles. So I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna, say, I'm gonna give it back to Freddy Ford just in case. You know what I'm saying? They want it or they need it. Now these these ain't never coming on the truck, no, never again. But you know they could probably use them for something else, right? And on this, the OEM bolts that we reuse uh -huh. are back on the truck. But all the ones that we like the nuts on this, nuts on this, and nuts on this. So everything's back on it. So they're, all the hardware is with the. Factory okay, so so so, so it, we're taking the stuff and the hardware itself. Right. Yeah. All right, cool. Well, let's get this thing loaded up. Thing, this thing actually is, is getting shaped now. I feel like it's looking better and better every time we do, you know, a little upgrade. So once again, big shout out to my boy Lalo at Dressy Changes for hooking us up with the color matching and everything. Now the badges, the custom badges that we got done for it, they're on the way. Now, they'll probably be here next week. So whenever we get those, we'll install those. Big shout out to my boy Tim and John for hooking us up with the suspension. Now we ended up buying a real badass uh, right tech suspension for the truck. Now it was pricey. It's not your typical $1,000, $1,500, $2,000. We actually paid a lot of money for the, for the drop kit. It actually was $4,500 for just the parts itself. But this one comes with custom upper control arm, coil lowers all the way around, uh, cow tracks in the back, Soy bars, pretty much everything that you can get on a badass drop kit, we got it. Uh, and I believe the Shelby's got the same drop kit, except the Caltrax. But this one has the Caltrax, this one has everything. And so this one's supposed to be ride real, real, real good. So big shout out to them. Like I said, we spent like 4,500 in just parts, not including labor, just parts. So uh, we pretty much got it here back at the shop. We're not done with it. We're not even halfway through. We still gotta do a lot more things to it. We still gotta do interior work, the seats. Uh, we will be putting a better sound system. Uh, we will be putting a Whipple supercharger. We will be doing the headers, exhaust, wheels by JTX. But today we're gonna install these wheels that we bought for the Shelby. We're gonna try them on. We're just gonna try them on and see how they look. And if it looks good, we might keep them on for just a little bit. Meanwhile, we get the new wheels because it doesn't look good. I mean, it looks good, but then again, <coughs> the 17-inch wheel, you can't be riding with stocks. The only way you want to ride with stocks is if it looks like this. Come here. And you know about it oh, because- Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. You yeah. know about it because this is the only way if you can ride some replicas or some stocks if you got 20-inch uh, Super Sport wheels or these, for example, are 22-inch replica essence wheels. And this is the only way that I will let you slide if you got something like this. But if you got something like this, <laughs> It's a no-go, it's, it's oh, no man. good. Yeah, so right now we're gonna jack it up, the truck, and change out the wheels and see how it looks. So. Yeah. 
The truck's still in the air and it already looks sick. You think so? Fuck yeah. You like it? Oh yeah. Looks like we're going racing tonight, you know? <laughs> Giving you that feeling. Yeah, that vibe. How's it look? <laughs> it looks good. It looks real good. It looks like it goes fast. It does. With the whole color matching and shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, like I said, these wheels are not staying on the truck. We are using a big wheel on it. Custom made one of one. But since we don't have the rims yet, we're going to use these for now. Now, it's not who did it first, it's who does it better. Now, I ain't throwing no slugs or nothing. It's a free country, you can do whatever you want, you can buy whatever you want. I just feel like since we do cool stuff, right? Oh yeah, it is. this looks really cool. It looks, yeah, it looks real good. And then now, we can, we can take it on the cruise now and get some cinematics. Yeah. All right guys, so check this out. Right now that we took off the wheel, the original wheel, we can, we can appreciate the suspension stuff that we put on the truck. Now, as you can see, this is not original and we got it right here. You can see the traction bars going on right here. It's just a complete kit. You know, everything's bolt on and they did weld some stuff like this one right here. I did tell them to weld just because this kit is never coming off. So uh, I don't want stuff to be moving or get loose or whatever. So they ended up welding some stuff on, on the rear end. You can literally see the bars hooking up everything so with this stuff right here this truck should ride really really good now we haven't drove the truck just yet we literally put it on the trailer and right now that we're swapping out the tires swapping out the wheels we can actually check out the suspension so right now when we're done we're going on a little cruise we'll give you some cinematics of the truck rolling with the 17s and uh we will give you our point of view of hard ride actually leave these wheels on and not get the other wheels oh just like this I just mean, like it, that it can be an option right you know what i'm saying if you now this truck will have a supercharger and it will run pretty quick it will be fast i mean this can be an option we can get you some nice welds like this uh it just depends what you want we can get it with the 22s you can get it with the 24s or you can get them with we get them with the 17s now these ain't that street friendly if it's raining it's probably not a very good idea to drive this thing on the rain because of course you're running a slick now there's another tire that you can use that has more thread i'm not sure which which tire it is i think nitto sells a tire with more thread and you can actually drive it more it'll be more streetable now these are probably not dot approved which that's why we cannot sell this wheel and tire at the dealer you know it's yes and no you know what I'm saying? it's one of those deals when it's yes and it's no uh but this uh truck looks really really good it actually like i said it's coming along it's looking better and better by the day and now pretty much the outside is pretty much complete. Like I said, we're just literally waiting on the, on, the, on the new wheels. But all the color matching and stuff like that. The tint, it's not on there yet. So we need to do the tint. We need to do the seats, the sound system. And maybe, just maybe, we'll just add a badass steering wheel. Uh, with lights and everything, all the nice buttons and stuff like that. How was it, Frank? How was the ride over there with, with Midnight? It was actually pretty badass, man. You can drive the fuck at that 370. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I was surprised. He was meant to be with that car, bro. Like, I think that's the only thing he can drive. <laughs> the fruitcake. The Nissan fruitcake. 370. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it ain't cool. It's a six. Let me fucking rev it up for you. He wants me to buy it. But I feel like it doesn't have enough power. I'm used to stuff with power. And I seen a comment a dude was saying that you're supposed to learn with the no power car or vehicle. But I just jumped into all the horsepower. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So I'm used to controlling the vehicles with a lot of power. That one, it's a little bit more, um, if you're on second gear, you know, you gotta kind of be hauling ass. If not, first gear is good. But you know what? I think I'm just gonna wait for the vet. We're just coming out here pretty soon. Let's see, 6Z06 Blue Vet. We actually put a 6.2 on that one. 
and a pro charger, angle kit, handbrake, the horn on yards, wheels, badass wrap, and I can't wait. Now that thing is gonna have a lot of power. It's gonna be kind of like a Takashi 3.0. Oh, crazy. <laughs> All right, let's take first spin. liked it and if you did make sure to comment down below what you think about the bill now it's not completely done we're about 25 percent done now the big things have been added to the truck which is the drop it's a major thing and all the color matching actually makes this truck look a lot better and we're just testing out these 17 inch weld wheels that we got from our boy russell at Vel velocity parts and performance uh and it actually looks really 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 good and also guys this truck rides really really good so big shout out to the boys out there at timmy johns for the suspension work he did say they was gonna ride really good and we paid top dollar for the for the drop kit so it better ride good like i said this drop kit comes with upper control arms uh sway bars cow tracks and all that good stuff so i tested it out right now and it actually feels really really good i feel like i'm getting uh feelings for this truck bro you're getting attached to it yes uh -oh. i don't want to set it no more you know what i'm saying i don't want to you know but it's just because we're putting a lot of uh, a lot of love into this vehicle a lot of thought as well now we are not doing everything with our own hands you know that's why there's professionals like my boy lalo that does the painting i don't know how to paint and my boy tim and john with the suspension we can actually drop a truck but we wanted the professionals to do it just in case we haven't done it in a long time so we don't want to fuck it up so we let the professionals do the job and then of course we're gonna put a whipple exhaust long tube headers interior sound system badges will probably be done by bandas y trocas may 25th so if you want to see this truck in person make sure to pull up it will be at the friendly ford booth so may 25th we still got about a, a month and some change for the show right yeah a month and like two weeks yeah, yeah. so get ready for that show because we're going all out we're taking all the burnout trucks we're gonna turn it up in the burnout pit we're gonna have this one there we're gonna have a couple of our rides and all that good stuff and that's pretty much everything for today's guys now tomorrow we will be starting the new gear giveaway and if you know what it is make sure to let us know because tomorrow is going down now we're gonna be running this giveaway for only one week seven days we're gonna do it like that we're gonna do it like that so it's gonna be a seven day giveaway so you have seven days to get entered and the best part about it is a truck that you like second seven day giveaway third anything on the website will get you in this giveaway now we will have two special shirts that will get you multiple entries you know let's just say double entries if you buy the shirts but if you want to buy a hat if you want to buy a decal a keychain a hoodie a license plate whatever anything on the website guys will give you an entry to that badass truck you got seven days and it's a badass truck it's a truck that you guys been wanting for a long time and my boy frank's a little sad but it's fine bro we're gonna get another one we'll get another one pretty soon yeah yeah, yeah. now it's not gonna be the same color but i promise you we're gonna get another one okay yeah and then it'll be it's gonna be kind of hard to top that one because that was really nice that was a badass yeah. truck that, that was i'm not sure it's at the house right now but i'm not sure how many miles it has but it does have low miles so that's the really good part about that now everything that we give away here is in good conditions uh majority of the vehicles are low miles that 2020 giveaway king ranch the king baller giveaway that one only has 15,000 miles and for a diesel that pretty much is brand new truck now my shout out to my boy emmanuel gutierrez the lucky winner for that truck we called him we went live the other day we called him and of course if you've seen the live and if you haven't make sure to go check out the live he actually chose the truck and he wants the 50,000 which real smart guy you should take the truck the truck is worth more than 50,000 that truck is going to sonora texas which is it's about two to three hours west from San Antonio. So we can call it West Texas, right? 
Yeah, I think it is considered West Texas. I'm not exactly sure. Somebody's probably gonna say yeah, it's Central you Texas. Don't or whatever. Say that. You don't want to say it. You yeah. know. Now San Antonio is Central Texas though. Yeah. But this is a little. It's like two hours away from San Antonio, heading west. And the cool thing about it is that I already had this guy on Facebook. He was my friend. I've never talked to this guy, but we've been friends on Facebook. And Emmanuel Gutierrez, the lucky winner, actually also knows the guy that is building a lowrider. What a small world. Well, it's not really a small world because the guy's like literally. Six, six hours away from here, right? Right. He's still kind of far his way out, but if you're in the industry, if you're in the truck scene, well, you're gonna know a guy. You're gonna know this guy, or this guy is gonna know this guy, and it's gonna know this guy, and it's really a small world in, this, in the truck community. If you're really in the scene, you know you're gonna know this guy, you're gonna know that guy, you're gonna know that truck. I don't know the people by names or anything, I know them by the truck. Like, oh, do you know, uh, uh, let's just say, Pedro, mm, what do you drive? Oh, he drives that truck or did this and that. Oh, okay, okay, I know. So I don't really know the guys by the names or faces, but I can tell you which one it is by the truck. I'm, I'm one of those guys. So yeah, tomorrow, guys, giveaway starts seven days. Be ready. Everything on the website will get you uh, entries. We got two special items that will give you more. So wait on that if you want to get the multiple entries and uh, we will see you guys tomorrow.